Good morning everybody and uh, this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So starting off with Euro USD as we usually do, we've had a strong move down last week and then this week we have just gone sideways. Sellers are still in control though and you can see that by those two fractals there and it is also a lower high. So they're very much still in control but I suspect we need to wait for the feds and uh, we are in a consolidation triangle at the moment. Um, typically that you're waiting for the breakout to the downside on that. Um, but often it also breaks the upside but then comes back and tests and forms a bigger range. So um, I would be quite frankly sitting on my hands today. Uh, not really interested in this either. So uh, sideways motion at the moment. We need to break the structure. I'm going to be very skeptical of any break until we've got the noise of the feds out of the way and at least um, half an hour of trading and the market open before I even start looking at anything on this forex pair. So um, yeah, that's kind of my view there. US dollar, Japanese yen, exact same setup. You can see we've come back onto these two levels I gave you on Monday and we've done nothing with them. So. Um, we are sideways and uh, we need to wait for the noise before we start looking at anything. So definitely not looking to trade uh, US dollar Japanese yen either. I have no interest in that. Um, British pound Japanese yen. Strong move uh, strong move up. Then it looked like a, a bounce off the 155 last week. And then sort of looked like we we're getting going again. But now we're just hovering on this level here of 162.428. Um, also being very much sideways. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we're waiting for the feds here as well. Uh, this is sideways, so a little bit of better structure here. Let's just put a level in up there. So there's our range. We break this range and, and come back and test it at 162.428. Um, that's an opportunity for a short. We are below all the moving averages at the moment. We are sideways uh, in a range. So you're looking for a break, pull back, retest, and then uh, potential reversal. There's a big gap down here, which I suspect would be the target at the moment. So gap is right over there. Uh, I just want to switch back to the hour. Oh, right, that puts us right back at a head and shoulders uh, neckline. So yeah, that looks like a, a pretty decent setup. So I would be paying very close attention to that. Um, but as you see yesterday on the 15 minutes, it was also up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, but as I've said in the past, these uh, we, these turns are normally pretty volatile. So if it is going to turn, it'll be down, up, and then get some structure to move to the downside. So that's the move we need to wait for. Wait for the break of 162.428 and then get the retest. If the retest fails, there's no trade. But if the retest is successful and it starts rolling, Great opportunity for a trade and you can pick any one of these fractals here for your stop. Um, Euro British pound kind of sideways well um, been sideways for a year but um, the interesting part here is we've pulled back onto the moving averages and then we have got some engulfing green bars here with the oscillators pointing to the upside. There is a strong possibility that we are heading back to 084614 uh, and if we do head back there, that is also a strong possibility that this uh, weird flag formation that has formed. And I'm just going to use a channel here. You see there's our kind of weird flag formation. Messy move to the upside, bit of a, a flag formation. And we're kind of breaking through that. I could also just do that. So we top a flag, which is probably more likely what we do. Uh, I just get this trend line drawn in and then if you come down to the hour you should see a little bit of structure so it's a bit of messy at the moment but you can see every time we're coming back down here the buyers are seeing value at 083816 um, so I would want to see probably pull back into somewhere in here it is really messy um, that's the first one and then the second one would be the 155 EMA here we don't want to close below it, we want to close on it or just above it. So that's 083986. So that's a level I'd pay attention to. This is another little micro level that I would be looking at, 084147. But ultimately, I'm looking for this break. If we get a break, pull back, retest, 
then that will validate this um, channel or channel break flag break uh, which would then get us moving back to the upside uh, but patience is key here we need to wait for uh, an opportunity so yeah of everything that i'm looking at the euro is probably uh, sorry the pound is probably the, the only forex pair that i can see some potential for something happening the rest of it we're all waiting for the feds uh, which will happen later today anyway that's kind of my view today hope it helps and we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now